vegan creatine. We got to talk about some real spill, man. Share this live, man. I need y'all to tap those hearts real fast and share this live. We got to talk about something real, man. Uh, this for the kids, man. Like, kids need... Let's just... This for the kids. Let's just know that. Like, what we got to talk about right now is for the children, bro. Because the children are... True sea moss. That's every every day. I, I do that every day before a meal. I'm about to come talk to y'all about something real, man. I need everybody to share this stream, man. Share this stream, share this stream. If you care about the kids in the world, not just your kids, but all kids in the world. If you care about all kids in the world, I need y'all to share this live stream. We got to talk about something, bro. This is a problem, man. It's a problem in the black community. And I'm not speaking on everybody else's community because I don't know what everybody else's community is going through. But I do know that it's a lot of other men going through the same thing of all races. I do know that. I've been reached out to by so many different races of men, and they're going through the same situation as black brothers, and I didn't know that because I don't have a lot of friends outside of my race. I'm cool with a lot of other people and other races, but I'm talking about close friends that share their personal lives with me, so I didn't realize it was this deep. So this is like, this is a, this is a global thing from all races, so I'm going to tell y'all how this could be solved, and I want to get to the governors, the presidents, or whoever, man. We need to get this mandated. This has to be mandatory. What I'm about to tell y'all right now has to be mandatory because I'm seeing a lot of things going on, and they're going to stop manipulating the system, bro. I'm starting to realize all of this stuff is all about money, man. God, God wouldn't, God would not like this, man. God would not like this behavior that's happening with a lot of people. Um, this is my creatine, man, my vegan creatine that I put in here. So I mix that in with my water. You know, going through cancer. You know, I lost a lot of weight when I was juicing those fruits and vegetables for six straight months. So I want to get my body right. You dig what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my build and get my gains. So if you're gonna creatine, a lot of y'all have heard of creatine, but I do vegan, anything plant based, man. If it's plant-based, that's what I'm doing. If it's plant-based, that's what I'm doing. So, you know, I do that. And I got a little vitamin C pack. You know, I got to get my vitamin C in me. That's why I'm never sick. So I want to encourage you, encourage you guys, man. A lot of you guys was taking so many different things during y'all when COVID was one of those things. When everybody was talking about COVID, everybody was running out getting their vitamin C. This is a thousand milligrams right here. I put this in the cup as well because I ain't going to sit and act like that creatine tastes good. It don't. This vitamin C actually gives it a better flavor to me, man. This is raspberry. But, uh, about to get into this, man. I'm going to get passionate. So if y'all feel like I'm talking loud, it is what it is. I need y'all to hit me. And, you know, I'm very passionate about this topic because I go through this too. So... I can only speak intelligently and, and, and passionate about things that I go through as well. So I'm not getting on here talk, telling y'all about something that I don't know. I got two kids, so you know for a fact I know. And I watched a lot of I've watched a lot of uncles. I watched a lot of uncles in my family and and uh, cousins and different people go through the same thing. So I know what's going on. So this is my thing, man. What I want to talk about today is. God, how do I want to get right into this? All right. As mothers and fathers around the world, if you are a mother and if you are a father, I need your attention. I need you guys to share this live stream. If you don't have any kids, 
it's okay for you to exit this live stream unless you really want some real sound advice about being a mother and a father. Parenthood ain't no, ain't no joke, y'all. Parenthood is not a joke. And I'm talking about motherhood or fatherhood. It is not a joke. No one has a manual on how to do it. You understand what I'm saying? I know my food gonna probably get cold. I can't let that happen. So if I'm smacking, whatever the case may be, we gonna, hey, and for all of y'all that was ready for my event, man, it's the R&B nights, it's gonna be February the 8th at Vibes Restaurant Lounge, same location in Lithonia by Stonecrest Mall. It, it's rescheduled to February the 8th. I will be posting, go to the Eventbrite, search the truth so y'all can make sure y'all in the building. Artists, make sure y'all go to www.latruthsrnbnight.com to submit, to perform, and it's going to be lit. But let's get into it, man. Um, I'm a father. Y'all know that. I got two beautiful daughters. If y'all don't see my daughters with me, it's not because I don't want my daughters to be around me. I love my kids to death. I want my kids around me. So the things I'm about to talk to y'all about right now is kind of going to explain. If you don't see my children around me, why they're not around me. Understand that it's systems in place, people, for all fathers around the world. When you go through a divorce or a breakup, because this is not just divorce things, man. This is even breakups where people get petty. People use their kids as pawns. This has to stop, man. It's all about the development of your child. When a mother and a father have a child, it's 50% the, it's 50 the mothers, it's 50% the fathers. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Ain't nothing we can do about it. That's just what it is. When a mother and a father have a child, they have they share DNA. The kid is, has the DNA of the mother and the father. Doesn't matter whose vagina it came out of, ladies. Doesn't matter if you carried the baby for nine months. Without that man's sperm, without that man's DNA, you cannot have that child. So let's stop trying to act like one side is more valuable than the other. It takes both parties to have a baby. So once we establish that people to all the people out there who do not have children, before you have children, think before you have children. And people say all the time, you got to know who you pick to have a kid with. No, you never know who a person is going to be to after you have a kid and that relationship don't work out. So this needs to be mandated to all the people around the world who create these laws, make these laws, vote on these laws and all of that. When you have a child, it should be a contract automatic. Once the DNA has been uh, requested, once the DNA tests have been done, and we know for sure that who the, mother, who the father is of the child, it needs to be a contract put in place that says joint custody. Joint. The kid is 50% the woman's and 50% the father's. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's too much people using their kids as pawns out here. And they're using it for financial gain. Some people think, okay, I'm going to have a kid with this dude, this dude, this dude, and then I'm going to control the situation and keep the kid in my house because I want money from this guy over here. I want money from this guy over here. I want money from this guy over here because now you want to solidify that your bills can get paid based off you having that child in your home. That's bull. Mandate joint custody and joint time. Now, when I say joint custody, we're not talking about, um, when I say joint custody, I'm talking about time and finances. So that way it's equal. Half the time spent with the mother, half the time spent with the father, figure it out. I don't know. I don't know how you got to figure it out, but figure it out. If a person wants to move to a whole nother state that causes a friction in half time spent with both parties, that's on the person who decides to move. If you live in the same state, if you live in the same state, the joint custody should be 50% both ways, time and finances. Y'all got to stop trying to use these kids for as pawns, whether it's men or women. I don't like the fact that in divorces, when people go through a divorce, if the person does not want joint custody, they can drag out a divorce. I can't stand it. Mothers and fathers should both be able to spend the same amount of time with their children, even if they're not together. We got to figure it out as parents. That's what happens. Everybody's not going to stay together forever. But a mother can still be a mother to the child. And a father can still be a father to the child. It's all about the child. She needs both. He needs both parents. The kids need both parents equal. Equal. It's too much pettiness going on.
And if y'all ain't watched a lot of this stuff, like everybody that follows the Latruth saga, y'all see what's going on. So when I see people condoning bad behavior and supporting bad behavior when you know it's wrong, that's what causes the cycle to continue. This don't start with me. This don't start with the Latruth saga. This has been going on for th decades, man. Thousands of years this has been going on. Kids not being able to have the same time with both of their parents. I'm sick of it, man. When does this stop? When do people become normal in the brain and stop using your kids as pawns? Kids need both parents, period. Everybody want to make shit financial. Everybody, everybody want to make things financial. Man, get up, stop being lazy and go out here and get to it. Stop using your kids for financial gain, period. Kids can't do nothing but be kids. They got to go to school. They got to be educated. They got to be groomed up. They got to know right from wrong. But it's too much people out here focusing on trying to secure a bag from a person over a child. No, joint custody needs to be mandatory. Joint parenting needs to be mandatory, whether it's a divorce or whether it's just a breakup. Too many mixed emotions going on behind this shit, man. Because a person don't want to be with you no more. Whether it's the man or the woman. Look, listen, when that relationship is over, that relationship is over. But your child should still be able to have two equal parents. 50% time with one, 50% time with the other. Finances, 50-50 for the child. So that way you ain't got to be sitting back talking about, oh, well, I need this much. I need. We all spending the same amount of time with the kid. As long as the kid is getting what the kid wants, everything is good. Go to work, get your money, pay your bills. We all got to pay bills regardless. If we all right now, if every one of you grown adults had no children and you lived in that house by yourself, you're responsible for every bill in that house by yourself. Just as well as the next person is responsible for all of their bills by themselves. Stop trying to use the kids to secure a bigger bag. Mandatory. Now, if a person don't want to be a father to their kid, if a mother don't want to be a mother to their kid, I get it. But we talking about when you got two parents who want to be equally 50-50 with their children. We got to let it rock. We got to make it mandatory. Straight up. Has to be mandatory. Kids need both parents. Now, like I told y'all before, I get it. Some people don't want to do that. Everybody don't want joint custody. Every, some people don't want 20% custody. Some people don't want to be in their kids' life at all. I get it. That's what adoptions and all of that stuff is for. Because it's always parents out there who cannot have kids that want to have children. That's what, the, that's what it's for. But if you have a child and both parents want to be mothers and fathers to the child, let them be mothers and fathers to the child. Stop all the BS. Because somebody don't want to be with you no more. Let that go. I'm transparent. I want joint custody. I want 50% of the time with my kid. I want to share the expenses for my child. 50-50 is how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. A woman is not responsible for no other kids in my house. If I got other kids in my house, the mother that I have a kid with, if I have other kids, she's not responsible for nobody else. She ain't responsible for this big ass house I might need because I have more kids. She's only responsible for her child. The same thing with the father. If a father has multiple children, if he has one child with you and you have multiple children by other men in your house, he's only responsible for the one child that he has with you. If you need 10 rooms for all 20 of your kids, you need to figure it out. But that one kid, he's only responsible for that one kid. He's not responsible for nothing else that's going on up in your house. He's responsible for 50-50 men and women. When you have a child, split it down the middle. It's half your DNA and it's half her DNA. Split that shit down the middle and let's go. Let's live life. Let's let these kids have wonderful lives, man. That's all it's about. I'm going through a divorce. All I ask for is joint custody. I don't want nothing else. I want 50% of the time of the year. 365 days in a year. I won't have the time with my kid. That ain't hard to ask for. I want to be a father to my children. That ain't hard to ask for. I represent real father game. I won't settle for less than 50% of my child. I am real father gang in real life. Damn social media. I will not settle for less than joint.
custody of my children. And any other real man and real father would not settle for less than that neither. This is equal. Stop playing these damn games out here, people. Y'all messing up the development of too many children. I'm sick of it. Kids out here committing crimes. Kids out here getting pregnant early because they ain't got the structure that they're supposed to have. Structure is, is important. And as adults, we got to correct it. We got to stop supporting stuff that we know is nonsense because the problem is just spiraling out. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're put here to help each other. In God's eyes, we all brothers and sisters. But it don't look like it. It don't look like it. At some point, we got to understand right and wrong. And I get it in circumstances out here. I get it in some cases, joint custody is not going to happen. I get that. I understand that wholeheartedly. I am not a dummy. I'm very smart. I'm very smart. I'm talking 3.5 all through high school. I'm very smart. I don't need a college degree to understand right and wrong. Some of us don't have to go through all these trials and certain situations to understand what right and wrong is. Common sense tells you when you have a child with a person, your DNA is half the child. So the DNA is both of y'all. Common sense tells you it's both of your children and you're supposed to do what's the best for the child. Common sense tells me that I don't need a, I don't need a booklet on that. I don't need, listen, Listen, my mom passed when I was five years old. I don't need a pamphlet to tell me how I'm supposed to love my child. When, you're, when your child is born and you cut that umbilical cord as a father, if you have a heart and you are a real person, you automatically know what you're supposed to do. It's common sense. I don't need nobody to tell me nothing about that. I know what I'm supposed to do. The love is there. I know what I'm supposed to do. If you've lived through life already, you know how to tie your shoes, take a bath, Put your clothes on, cross the street without getting knocked down, read a book, do some math problems, pass the kindergarten, pass the first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, graduate high school, and you don't know how to be a parent? You don't know how to take care of your kids? You can navigate yourself through high school, but you don't understand that your kids is 50% yours and the person you had a kid with. You don't understand that? You know how to count to 10 like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know how to use your 10 fingers to count to 10. But you don't understand that when you have a kid with another person, that the child is 50% yours and 50% the other person's. Our word, our word is stuck on dumb at this point. And a man can't even be a man no more. A man can't even speak like this. A man get tore apart for coming on here speaking the truth. My name is La Truth. Why am I going to come on here and lie to y'all? Why am I going to come in here and tell y'all some dumb shit? Why? That goes against my whole brand for me to come on here and tell you a lie. A kid is 50% the mothers and 50% the fathers. Point blank period. Ain't nothing else we can do. We can't change that. So both need equal amount of time with the kids. Both equally share the expenses of the child. If you got five kids with a person, you're going to share the expenses equally for five children and the time for five children. Now, again, if, you, if the baby daddy don't want to be there for his kids, I get it. If the baby mother don't want to be there for her kids, I get it. This is for the people who want to be there for their children. Let them. Y'all see this? Y'all see what I'm going through? And I come on here and have to be level headed. I come on here on these social media sites and give y'all grace every time. And I don't come on here yelling at y'all every day. I come on here still giving y'all the best content that I can give y'all. All while I'm going through some real shit. All while I'm going through some real shit. Not speaking to my daughters every day hurts my soul. 
Not being able to see my daughters every day hurts my soul. And I still got to come on here and do my job. I still got to make this money. And I ain't even coming on here just talking about my situation. I'm talking about the world situation. This is a problem, man. How y'all don't see that this is a problem? Kids growing up hating the other parent because they think the other parent don't want to be there when the only reason why the other parent ain't there because the other parent trying to keep the motherfucker away. What? And then when they figure it out later in life, now they hate the mother or the father who kept them away from the other kid, from the other parent. Stop being... Stop being stupid, people. This Man, I see this shit every day in all races, but I see it the most in ours. Black people. Y'all so quick to jump on the next big thing, but when it comes to something real, y'all ignore it. Y'all don't want to talk about the real problem. This is the real problem. Keeping people away from their kids should be a crime. You should get locked up for that shit. Men and women who doing that. If the other parent want to be in the kid's life, let them be in their life. Or they need to put laws in place and start locking people up for that. To everybody out there going through a divorce right now. To everybody that's going through a breakup. If you're having a problem with those matters. And it's holding up your divorce because you can't get that joint custody that you're asking for. Keep your head up, man. Pour you a glass of wine. It's going to help mellow you out. If you're not a wine drinker, it's going to help you with a lot of things. I need y'all to do research on the health benefits of drinking wine. If y'all feel like it should be mandatory joint custody between mothers and fathers, I need y'all to share the stream. I need y'all to hit the share button more than you've ever hit it. I won't stop. I will not stop this mandatory 50-50 joint custody time and finances campaign until some laws get put in place. Because until these laws get put in place, these kids ain't going to get what they need. And kids need both parents. Period. And you don't have to be living in the same household to do it. Being separated, being divorced, being broke up should not change the dynamics of your kids having both parents. So 
There's no way a divorce should take this long for anybody over custody. Over joint custody should never take that long. And if you guys are going through a divorce right now and your partner won't sign because of joint custody, your partner still wants you. And it's sad you got to wait for a trial date for it to be over. Got to wait for a trial date for a judge to give you joint custody. That's sickening when a person can't just make their mind up and say, you know what? That's what's supposed to happen. Joint custody. 50-50. Sickening. To all the people that's been in my DMs about that this week, I pray for y'all. Because I go through the same shit, so I definitely understand your pain. I feel it. Law has to be put in place. 50-50. 50-50. Time and finances. I stand on it. Please share this stream, man. Everybody tag as many people. Share it. This got to stop. Listen. The communication going to have to get better, man. The child, the best interest of the child. That's it. Forget what it was, what it used to be, what it could have been. It's over, people. The relationship is over with. It's about the best interest of the child. Let these children have great lives and great chemistry with both parents because they didn't ask to be here. Give them what they need, man. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here, y'all.